so much stuff that I want to buy. The lighting, the color, the room, everything. It is the tan. Crazy, my baby. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Jocelyn and I'm finally here doing another vlog. I feel like for the past two videos, I've been just doing a voiceover, which is fine, but I just really miss vlogging. And the reason is because I haven't been feeling myself lately. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the season. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know what it is, but I haven't been feeling myself. And I'm just so ready. I'm like, girl, go back to the vlogs. People really miss you. So I'm here, you guys. I'm so excited to bring you guys another vlog now this one is very special i actually gonna go to this vintage place that i didn't know existed it's almost like heaven for us if you guys like vintage shops and you know roxy stuff like my bowl here in my entryway like things like this that look like handmade and handcrafted you guys absolutely gonna love this place now i'm not gonna take all the credit at all because i follow dressa j if you guys don't know her channel i will link it down below and also post here on the screen she is an amazing content creator now she have a little following but her content is a 10. we definitely click because we like the same things and that's how we met i remember seeing her videos on youtube one time and then we ended up just following each other on instagram i think that's how it happened i don't remember but we've been following each other for a while now and yes i just really need to mention her channel if you guys like my content you guys actually gonna love her content as well she is very into it in vintage as well and just things like very organic modern and it's just literally the same vibe that I have. So I like to connect with people like we kind of like had similarities. I will link her channel in the description box below. So make sure you guys say hi because she is an amazing human being. Okay, so one of her recent videos, she went to this place called Golden Otis. And this place is only 30 minutes away from me. I didn't know this place existed. It's actually gorgeous and it looks pretty massive as well so i'm really excited to go there if you guys know on instagram i'm gonna probably pull a picture here but this place it calls olive altiliers hopefully i'm pronouncing that right but it's very popular like it's all over on youtube instagram tiktok they just blow like because i mean the things that they have i'm gonna put like a screenshot or something so you guys can see like their decor is very modern organic a lot of stone a lot of vases a lot of wood tones rustic greenery that's exactly what i love for my home so of course this is in california i believe and um they do some drops here and there so if you want to go in person or shop online they have some specific dates that you can actually do they had the option of online drop and shop in person as well so that's okay but personally me i like to just go ahead and shop and get it on my door so um this place that she actually mentioned which is golden aldi's it recently a lot to that like actually it's very impressive to see the things that they have and I'm so excited to go there today and just double check I mean we never know what we can find so they open at 10 a.m. it's currently 10 4 I'm 30 minutes away so we should be able to head out very soon and yeah I cannot wait to bring you guys with me because it's gonna be very very fun I also working on a home decor for you guys I've been purchasing a lot of things here and there and I don't know it's because I've been just doing like shopping therapy I'm gonna call that shopping therapy because <laughs> sometimes I notice that when I'm in my feelings I just tend to just go and shop so I just don't buy anything but it really relaxed me and I just get inspiration and yeah so that's what I've been doing for the past few days and I just collected a lot of beautiful things that I purchased from another vintage shop from Charlotte because I recently went there as well so cannot wait to bring you guys a home decor haul very very soon but today we're about to check this vintage shop and before we move forward I want to show you guys these known Stanley because we're not doing this freaking how much it is $50 absolutely not 
no so i got this from five below yesterday you guys only five dollars now i don't know about the quality it keeps drinks hot or cold longer that's what it says but honestly i just need something that helps me to keep drinking water even though when i'm on the go and i've been finding myself lately just literally finishing my bottle water and then after that i don't drink water because i don't have anyone with me so i was like let me just get one of these i was literally looking for the stanley but you guys i cannot really commit to the price it's like I don't see the point to really spend that much for a cup then I saw this TikTok of people going crazy literally fighting over a cup I was like absolutely not like you only need a cup just to put water in ice so I saw this one actually the black is almost sold out they just have another different colors as well ideally it will be more like an ivory color because you guys know that's my favorite color but they didn't have that I think they had the white and I mean the start white is not for me as well so I was like let me get the black one because it's very cute very aesthetic and it's just gonna fit in my car i'm about to just put some water and ice and i should be hydrated for the rest of the day all right so this is the outfit of the day let's ignore the hair situation you guys i had to wash my hair and i just have my curls out i think they look pretty cute but i had to just do something with it but i mean it's raining today the weather is literally just i don't want to say ugly because i'm trying to really <laughs> embrace every season and it's raining so it's okay but i mean the weather is not for you to like really just have like a super hair and makeup so that's why i decided to go relax today so this is the outfit of the day so this shirt is actually drifted and this blazer i guess is drifted as well it's so cute it's like a brown with this kind of like teddy bear or sherpa type uh, material and my leggings um i don't remember what i got this from but probably from ross or somewhere but um that's what i got today um very very simple as far as my shoes i have my favorite boots which i promise you guys i have more than these but they are my favorite ones and actually i've been having them for so long that you guys can see they are tearing up that way <laughs> if you guys can see it's not new at all so i just wear them and because it's raining as well i want to make sure i'm protected so they are so cute
this place is amazing seriously my vibe completely all wood or stone like i don't even know how i didn't know about this place for too long like seriously i'm overwhelmed it is a vibe like all the furniture pieces well, let me show y'all most of the furniture pieces they have they're pretty much sold so <laughs> yikes right but look at this this would be perfect to like put my favorite pieces there it is so but it's fine they have more stuff there there's a nice variety of furniture pieces so you guys know i have risers already but i don't really have this type of color and i saw jersey j she got like one or two these these are very pretty um we'll see because i don't really see they have that many options right now but the ones that i have they're more like this color which is fine but maybe something like this would be cute you guys so much stuff that i want to buy <laughs> I'm literally overwhelmed right now. It is a lot of good stuff. Like, seriously. The lighting, the colors, the blue, everything. It is a 10. Highly, highly recommend. All right, let's see what else we can find. This is very cute, let me show y'all. It's actually a very pretty color. $375. I don't think it's a bad price. Just perfect for like a bathroom area. Just put like your favorite decor over there. You remember that we got these? But they're like very tiny. I don't know what I will do with them, but they're very cute. It's cute. You guys know these paper marche bowls that are very, very trendy. I'm not sure the price, but they're very, very pretty. I already have one, but great option. They have like different colors as well, different patterns. And this little bowl for like a jewelry. That's cute. And here they have more risers. Very, very cute. This is like the type of one that I was looking for. Like, this is cute. I like these a lot. I'm not sure what I'll be using for. That's pretty. Beautiful. Look at this. Just go very well with my decor. I'm filming right now, so it's hard for me to like grab some things, but I'm gonna have to just go around to the store one more time once I finish this video and grab some things. <sighs> this store is pretty big as well. I keep going and going. Let me show you these boxes. This is great for storage. Just so nice. Love this. The credenza dress for Jay. She showed this on her channel as well. I fell in love with it. It's beautiful. I don't have the space for it, but these are the type of wood I want to incorporate in my bedroom. So I'm planning to I'm going to sell my dresser that I got from Facebook Marketplace. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's brown. So I want to get out a little bit for the brown side and incorporate more of these type of wood. Let me show you guys this color, more in the lighter side. So pretty. It's a beautiful furniture piece. Fourteen fifty. These are like. Oh, this is heavy, y'all. Like, 
all these like real stone like bowls different sizes colors these are so pretty it's like clay pots i think well i'm not sure but that's cute I love these type of trays, they look so pretty. I have one for the kitchen area for my soap and utensils pretty much. That's very really pretty. They have all different sizes and kind of like color too because they're not like the same you guys can see. They're like very unique and different. I love these, they're just cute. We are upstairs right now and it's so much, so much to see. Let me go to this way because it's people and I don't want to make them uncomfortable with my camera. But I'm so sorry if I'm whispering, like I don't want to be too loud. There's not too many people, but I still don't want to be like, you know, too loud. Beautiful place. Beautiful place. So this side right here is more like winter pieces and personally I really enjoy this type of color like brown cherry but I know a lot of people enjoy this type of furniture. I see a lot of vases over there but personally like the ones that I saw downstairs so we're about to check them out. A stool, a lot of candle holders as well. They are very very cute. They're almost like the same size but these so pretty. I'm not like a drinker, but I always wanted to buy one like this and it looks like very bright. That's very pretty. This is the other side upstairs. I mean, I would think like this place is not big, but it's actually massive. <laughs> it keeps going and going. I personally like more downstairs because it's where they have all the stones, marble, wood, and stuff like that. It's more like furniture pieces, but they're very pretty. I'm gonna bring you guys here more often for sure. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. This is like a little table. Love the color. Very pretty. Literally heaven for those that love vintage and furniture pieces. She's there for the past two months. She's been getting like a lot of TikTokers and YouTubers coming here. So it's getting popular. <laughs> because a lot of people come here for the things that they have that's very pretty i mean i know this is not for everybody because it's like very distressed but super cute 750 i don't think it's a bad price because it's old and so cute here is a dresser that's cute somebody want to say hi <laughs> here's where they have all the benches personally i think they look too polished for me, but it's a great option if you're looking for benches as well. We have a lot of baskets here, you guys. I always wanted to buy one of these duple bowls, I think they call or trays. Um, Pressure tree board, or just put like your favorite fruits and stuff. It's very cute. Are right, you guys? I'm about to do a round up before we go because we pretty much cover everything. I love everything that they have. Seriously, nice furniture pieces, a lot of pottery. I forgot to show you guys that. I will show you guys in a minute, but I'm about to just take my time and see where we want to purchase. 
and then we're gonna do a home decor haul um this is gonna be in this video i want to do a home decor haul with all the purchases that i've been doing for the past few months including this one as well so we will see but i'm very very excited it's a 10 out of 10 you guys had to come here i will link all the information the address and everything in the description box below it is like a little basket as well with little feet <laughs> that's very pretty that bench or whatever this is what i mean when i'm looking for like benches and wood it has to be like this like very beat up i guess that's cute it's too tall to be a bench so it's perfect for like a table we have more tables here oh, that's pretty so i wanted to show you this big i don't know how to call it <laughs> they're so huge like trays for like a big island or dining table Very, very heavy and pretty. <laughs> Bunch of trays. All of this is heavy. Great quality. That's very pretty, y'all. Bunch of linens. That's cute. These mirrors are huge. There's more trays everywhere, y'all. I wish I had the space for all of this. <laughs> Cause I will literally stack them just like that. Maybe like three of them. That will look very, very pretty. That's for like the price of the bases. Or should I just like pick them? I'm just gonna ask like how much is these? They are so pretty. And these big bases as well. That's the only downside. They don't really have the prices. So you have to constantly ask. Which I get it because Jessica J told me that yeah, it's annoying, but I don't know why they do that. I really don't know. But they're very pretty. Like for the bathroom area or somewhere. And these right here. Check this. Oh, I got that over here. And these. <laughs> so these are 45. Okay. The majority of those on that shelf are going to be 45. Okay. Scanning real quick because they put these up while I was out. Okay. Think the majority of those on that shelf are going to be 45. Um, these on this table are more price tag 55, 65, and 80. Okay. Small, medium, large on these. Okay. Yep. Except for like. This don't belong over here because this is a different style, like the glazed ones. These okay. are 65. Okay. These go over there with the other ones. But um, these and these. So, and then ones like this, like these style. Okay. So, yeah. Um, this size is the 80. Um, this size would be. Okay. So, you guys are small, medium, and large. Okay. So basically, oh, this one is these. Small. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. So these are um, olive pots. These are con called olive pots. Okay. These are your Turkish urns. Okay. Um, these they they are all Turkish, but these are olive pots. Okay. Not that. Some people don't care, but yeah. uh, some people do. And just a little insight as to why they have this um, metal, the little metal band on it. Yeah. That is put on by the Turkish government oh. to to um, certify that they are in fact fifty years or older. So, oh. yep. That's interesting. That way, if you go like to another place, you can tell if they're like new. Right. Like, um, repops. Right. Okay. So if they don't have that on there, they haven't been, like, A, they may not actually be from Turkey. Right. And they're not certified. Yeah, a lot of vintage shops do that. Because yeah. I've been showing yeah. a lot and mm -hmm. they claim mm -hmm. this vintage is not. Yeah. So. A lot of places will claim that it actually came from that place and yeah. it didn't. 
that's one way that like you can tell that it came from Turkey. Mm -hmm. And um, those are put on like at the customs department, those are put on before they leave the country. So, yeah, we make sure all of ours get put on. Like, when I, when I first started, I was like, why is this on here? It stabs me. Like, I'm trying to package this. And, like, right. it's in the way. And they're like, do not take that off. <laughs> I'm like, and then they told me why. And I was like, okay, well, I mean, that's cool that, you know, they have their own way of, like, doing things. Right. Like, and here in America, you get a piece of paper. Right. You know. Like a tires. Exactly. But, I mean, that's it's cool. It's, it's it a is. nice little piece of information for people to have. So I, I try to tell I didn't people, know that. I never heard that. Yeah, I, I try to tell people like that's what it's for because a lot of customers are like, "Why is this on here? It doesn't yeah. even like it doesn't it's go with the piece. Like, it looks weird, you know." But that's what it's for. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I like these, like that too. So I really wanted this one, y'all, like because the handles, how the belly looks. <laughs> So cute, but it's so. I wanted something just like that. Man, yeah, they have a bunch of things to see. These marble trays, these are really, really pretty. This one is $24.99. It is heavy, y'all. I was thinking for the kitchen to put like vegetables, onions, peppers, like stuff like that. Um. Yeah, I like it if it's too marble. I want something more, like, actually it's like the only one that looks more beige. That's cute. What do you think? Should I buy this one? Yeah. And I want like a tiny one too. I want to check the, the risers. I want to check the risers. Can you hold this? When we saw the risers, mm -hmm. let me push you guys here. I really don't need no more of these, y'all. Like, I really don't. They're so pretty for like a candle. Um, I'm thinking to put this in the bathroom area with like a soap and stuff like that. Very tiny. I was looking for something tiny like this too. So what do you guys think? Should I get it? <laughs> what do you think? Like a bathroom? Then I'll put a soap, mm -hmm. a candle, something yeah. like that. In the kitchen too. Kitchen or bathroom. Alright y'all, so my camera is dying right now. I had to go ahead and charge it real quick, but we're about to pay. So I'll see you guys later. Charles is checking how much these spoons are because they are gorgeous for like a kitchen area. You're gonna find out how much they are. So cute. just back home and let me tell you i'm so obsessed with that place i don't know why i didn't hear about it why it took me so long to go there i'm glad that's how dressed J and she showed it so i was able to go and see it for myself so hope you guys like that little tour um i was just so overwhelmed because it's so much to see especially things that i actually like because I just went to another vintage shop right after that and i didn't buy anything every time i go to that location it's things that I don't really buy with. So you have to be careful when you go to this vintage shop. But I would say this one is very, very authentic. Um, I believe I had a clip where she was explaining me about the vases. Um, they have like a metal tag. And basically it means that it's original from Turkish or something like that. Yeah, I would... the tag means it's from Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, really really love how she explained everything because she was like some of these vintage store they're gonna sell you something that is vintage but it's not so she was just explaining everything 
and yeah so i'm about to show you guys a few things that i pick up i really wanted to hold it on to these mega home decor haul that i'm preparing for you guys but normally when i watch these videos i also want to see what the person pick up so i don't want to leave you guys hanging so i want to show you guys three things that i pick up from the store now i'm gonna go back she actually mentioned because i asked her um if she get more vases she said during spring and during fall they get a lot of like merchandise in ones so i'm gonna have to check them out during i believe she said april so i cannot wait but i'm about to show you guys the three things that i got first thing that i got is this gorgeous vintage spoon now i'm not planning to use this at all of course it's more for decorations this can be perfect for your kitchen i was thinking about just leave it somewhere like that or if I want to put it in the display, I can put like a command hook and just put it out there. And it just looks so beautiful. They have a bunch of them. This was retail for $24.99 and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the patina and the colors I have and it's just so, so amazing. Second piece that I have is this gorgeous riser. Now you guys know I do have two risers, which I'm obsessed with them, but I never had something like these kind of like, I don't want to say yellow but more like in the lighter side um i have the other ones that they're more like brown which is fine i'm obsessed with them but i wanted something different i was thinking i can put these in my bathroom i've been working on refreshing my bathroom for spring i start with the stool that i just got recently and a few decor here and there but it's not quite where i want to be so i was thinking i can put these there and put like my soap and stuff like that if not this can go in the kitchen area this can go literally anywhere it's just perfect to just literally just put your soap in a candle or something like that so this was okay i just got the receipt but this was 18 dollars i don't think it's bad actually for a vintage piece like this and it says vintage right here um because again sometimes you cannot tell if it's vintage um i personally can see because it had these um these marks right here or whatever you guys want to call it that it looks like it's been through to a lot and that's the beauty of vintage i personally love pieces that look like i mean they use it <laughs> i know that sounds bizarre probably or like what you mean but i don't like things that look polished i don't like things that look perfectly made i like things that look like they've been here for a long time so so excited for this and the last piece that i got which i had to go back and probably get more is this gorgeous amazing vintage plate right here so this is like a marble or yeah it says marble actually it's like a marble plate and it's pretty heavy it's just like this gorgeous stone and i took my time because they do have different colors you know like when it comes to vintage stuff you have to kind of like take your time because you can see the same item but they had different colors and textures so i was like let me take my time they had ones that they look more marble which personally i don't really like but this one looks more beige and it had these like beautiful kind of orangey tones it's so cute this plate bowl can be in your coffee table can be in your bedside table just to put your jewelry this can go in the kitchen to put your onions and you know like veggies that go outside um i mean this is literally like you can use it for everything this was uh let's see 24 dollars yeah this was 24 dollars so depends the size of the plate um that's how it goes and I'm obsessed with it. But I'm about to start cooking, you guys. It's currently 2.41 p.m. I'm about to do some fish, some um, brown rice. I had the asparagus for it and just try to keep it healthy here. <laughs> I feel like I've been eating that for the past week, I would say. But I'm not getting tired. Like, I mean, I've been having my sheet days here and there. But I always go back to fish because I like fish. And brown rice is so healthy. And asparagus, I'm just obsessed with it. So that's the menu for today i'm about to charge my camera because it's dying but i just wanted to show you guys the things that i got i will say thank you dressa j to put us on on this vintage store again make sure you guys follow her and just check her channel and her instagram everything will be linked in the description box below because again we just had very similar style like identical so if you guys like my style you guys are gonna love her channel as well Perfect Sunday, on the blue ways We looked happy, but I was going through, yeah All my senses
pieces Really no way set to end it But I was leaving you and picking daisies Contemplating, cause you say things But never really do them, yeah You never pulling through for me My intuition's always high Everything unfolded, unfolded, yeah It happened in a moment, you 